Hello, you sexy ass people. It's Versatile, and I'm here with uh, another video. Uh, I haven't uploaded it in like 17 years, but uh, I've been really, really busy with things, and I just, I really, really haven't had time. Sorry. Um, but I'm here with the DayZ video. Yes, there's millions of these, uh, tons of tutorials on how to get better FPS, but I'm going to show you my way of doing it. It's almost all of the tutorials are the same thing, but there's a little bit of things that I have differently set in mind, in my opinion, and hopefully this works for you. It does not work for everybody. If something's not working properly, please let me know in the comments. I'll try to reply to you. I'll try to help you as best as I can. Um, well, we're going to get started now. Make sure you right-click on DayZ, head to Properties, Set Launch Options, and only, please, only put these three. Do not listen to any other video. Do not put CPU count, X threads, max... V mem max mem don't put any of that nonsense someone said you uh, tells you to do that smack the shit out of them you don't need to do that but these three and that's it the game does the rest by itself if you put that it could actually um bottleneck in a way like you could actually get lower fps so don't do that you can also put uh dash win xp which this it does help you get a 10 percent more uh fps boost but the thing is if you go to change one of your settings in game, the game crashes and you get an error. So don't do that. If you have a good enough PC, they, you don't need that extra 10%. It, it could help, but it's personal preference. I don't put it. Once you're done, click OK. And now we're going to go to the in-game settings. People usually tell you to go to your documents and do that thing, but we're going to do that after we go in-game because I don't like editing that and then going in game and changing the values there's no need you change the values first and then edit to your own preference once you once you're done i'll see you guys in game hello you sexy people um I, now that i'm at the main menu of daisy i want you guys to go to configure video uh user interface head to resolutions so you'll have resolution size or aspect ratio uh your resolution you want to set that to your native resolution mine is 1080p Yours can be 720, whatever it is, just set it to that. Um, your size, your interface size, just set it to small and normal. That's personal preference. It, it depends on how big you want it or how small you want it. Your aspect ratio, change it to your monitor's aspect ratio. My monitor is 16 by 9 wide. Once that's set, it closed. Head to textures. Your video memory, I want you to keep, I want you to keep that at uh, auto. Don't put high, don't put whatever. Just keep it at auto. Don't change that. Texture detail and texture fil filtering, I want you guys to keep that at very high or high. It barely affects your FPS at all, maybe nothing at all. Just set it to that, high or very high, it's your personal preference. Hit close. Oh, by the way, disable VSync, if I didn't let you guys know that. Disable VSync. And make sure your rendering resolution is at 100%. Okay, don't put it lower when people tell you to do that. Don't put it lower, just keep it at 100. Quality, set your objects to very low. Don't put it any higher. Do not put it any higher, just keep it at low. You'll still be able to play the game fine and see people at certain distances, but it's fine. Terrain quality, this is controlled by the server itself, it's server side, so it doesn't matter what you set it to. That's why when you're at the main menu and you have it set to very low, you see no grass whatsoever. But when you're in game, it's different, you see all the grass. So just keep it at very low, it doesn't matter, it's, it's not going to affect at all because it's server side. Clouds, disable it. Who needs clouds, am I right? Who needs it? Shadows, set to very low. Unless you're a freak about having uh, shaped shadows, like perfectly shaped around certain objects, keep it to very low. Locked sh uh, shadows are just as good. Once you're done, head to rendering. Now, this is where it gets confusing with me. I'm an anti aliasing freak. I do not like jagged edges on my screen at all. Uh, people tell you that you get better FPS when you disable it, which you're supposed to, right? Because this uses like it's pretty intensive in game so if you disable it you'll have a bunch of jagged edges yes you do get higher fps but this is an example if i have the, these two things off output coverage goes on once you have anti editing on once if this is off this is automatically off but when they're both on they make the game look beautiful when they're both off it, the game looks ugly when you're in a city with anti editing off Whenever I run into a city with it off, I have massive FPS drops because I think it's because the game 
there's too many like screen tears and jagged edges while you're turning fast, you know, because you're always like turning quick because you're checking your corners and stuff. My FPS drops like crazy in the city, so I tend to keep that on. Plus, the game looks beautiful when it's on, right? And a talk, uh, it's right here, upper coverage. It makes the the trees look all like uh, filled and, and nice and clean. Makes the game look nicer. Makes your FPS seem smoother when you're in the city, in my opinion. So why not keep that on? Set it to low, uh, all trees plus grass. This is where it's personal preference. If you like more of a, not blurry, but yeah, blurry and nice smooth edges, like that just blend in with the environment, I suggest you put it on SMAA low or normal. If you like the sharpness, where it's nice and clean and nice and like everything's standing up because it's so sharp, which is what I like, uh, I keep it at FXAA low or normal. Just keep it at low, it's just as good as normal. HDR quality, you can set it to very low, you'll get like a 1 or 2, maybe 3 FPS uh, difference, but I just keep it at low, it doesn't really bother me. Ambient occlusion only works when post-processing is set to low, but if you keep cross-processing on, it'll kill your FPS and it gets super blurry. So disable that and disable this. Bloom, down, rotation, blur, down. That's it. Oh, and just in case you know this, if you still feel a little leggy, go to controls. Smell smoothing, put that down to zero. Some people don't know it, you might find it stupid, but some people don't know about that. Close that, and then gameplay if you didn't know, head bob down if you didn't playing first person servers. That's it. Done, close. Alrighty, uh, since I made it back to my desktop, what I want you guys to do next is hit start, go to documents, go to daisy, and you'll have three things here and a folder called saved. Head towards your daisy, right click on it, open with notepad or edit. I don't know if edit will bring you right to notepad, but. Once you get here, you'll have two things to change. GPU, max frames ahead, and detected frames ahead. These will probably set to 1000, and this will be set to 3, or if it's different, it doesn't matter. Switch them to 1 and 1, alright? Once that's set, you could also put this, sorry, to 0. Shut that off, and your ATOC. Uh, if you did put anti-aliasing on, and your Alfred coverage, uh, all trees plus grass, like I told you to, um, this should be set to 15, just set it to 7. Once you're done that, file, save. Why I didn't save it is because I have it set to read uh, read only. You guys should do this also that whenever you change the setting in DayZ, it won't change in the CFG. So that when you reopen the game, it'll be set to uh, what you have in the CFG. So it won't ever change. What I'm going to tell you right now, uh, you can change almost any setting you want in DayZ to what you want if it doesn't work out. But do not change the object view distance because even though it's set to a thousand, you have it set to very low in game. If you set it to very low again in game, it's actually further than one thousand. At least I've noticed it. I see more stuff, which is going to cause FPS use also because you're going to see more like detail on your screen. Once you've done that, head over to uh, it'll be your username. My username is Strive in game. Uh, open it up. You'll have this huge notepad. Scroll all the way down. Uh, you'll see scene complexity, shadow Z distance, and prefer, uh, view distance, and preferred object view distance. You'll see these these four right here. Scene complexity, maybe it'll be higher, maybe it'll be lower. I want you to set it to 100,000. Your shadow Z distance, people might say that this is pointless or complain about it in the comments, but it's uh, going to be set to 200. People tell you to set it to 100. I just set it to 50. I'm not even sure if it helps, but my game is running fine now, so I'm going to keep it at that. Set it to 50, your view distance, people tell you 1,600, I'm not sure if 300 meters makes a difference, but set it to 100, uh, 1,300, and set your preferred object view distance to 100,000. You can put it even lower than this, which will give you a boost of FPS, it will, but the thing is, if people are at a certain distance, you might not see them, which could be a disadvantage, and you could die because of that. Once you're done that, close it, make sure after you save it, sorry. Uh, you go to properties, read only, check it, apply, click OK. You're done. Now, next step, you'll have these two files. I'll leave uh, the link in the description. Once you download them both, have them both on your desktop, you'll have this DAZ frame boost uh, folder. You'll have three things in there to work to work with. Uh, open up your DAZ frame boost, double click it. It'll come up here, click run, yes, OK. Once that's done, open up LP Manager. Oh shit, run it as admin. Sorry about that, guys. Run it as admin. Yo, this thing will come up. What you need to do, what you need to type here is the user that your uh, DayZ is running on. I don't mean in-game. I mean the username of the computer. If you have different usernames, then you have to check 
by pressing Control alt delete opening up your task manager while Daisy is running, and it'll let you know what user the game is running under. Mine is Strive. So I put Strive, hit Privilege, and it says Restart. What you do is restart your computer, and hey, if it doesn't work for you and it bottlenecks you and you start like having worse FPS, just come over here, shut it off, and do the same thing, all right? Once that's done, close this up. You'll have this other file called Per Control. To be honest, I can't really tell out of my experience if this worked, but you can give it a shot. It might work for you. I'm not sure if it did. It's on and off. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Run it as admin. It'll come up like this. You will have different uh, profiles to choose from. Uh, select high performance, and some of this stuff will be enabled. Just disable it. Set it to 100. Make active. It'll turn over here. High performance, 3.4 hertz, whatever. Apply. Okay. And this will make your PC somewhat run in maximum performance, like your CPU, at all times. And this could help you. Click OK. Open up the game and play. Once you're done playing the game, though, come back make sure you open this and set it back to balance because you do not want your pc running at max or your cpu sorry running at max at all times make active should change apply okay okay and you're done once you're done go in game play daisy hopefully it works for you if it doesn't leave a comment and i will try my best to help you i'll try telling you different techniques that i use if one day it's working one day it's not um if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. If you uh, if you want to see more, if you guys have any ideas for me, let me know. Remember to subscribe, and I will see you sexy people soon. Yeah.